that earlier in the night there was a fight that took place in London, Ken, that you're aware of. I, I sent out a text on it when I saw it. And um, I made a mistake at first. I, I set the wrong network. Um, I set the wrong network. And there it is. Look at that judge. This was I a just fight want that- to make sure that this guy gets his just due. That's Terry O'Connor from the British, uh, licensed by the British Boxing Commission or whatever they call their um, overseers there. But that's Terry O'Connor judging a fight, looking at his damn phone. How- How he could even want to judge another fight after being caught doing this? Have some respect, dude. Like, honestly, I try not to get too emotional about these things, but have some frigging, have some, like, integrity. Get out of there. If you're too busy to watch the damn fight that you're getting paid, you got a ringside seat, I guarantee you there's every single person listening to this show is saying to themselves, I'll do that job for free. I'll pay you to be a judge, and I'll watch every second of every fight. This guy's getting paid to judge a fight that's incredibly important to the two guys in the ring, and he can't be bothered. He's texting. I'd love to know, Teddy, what the hell is he texting? Tell me he's betting on the line, uh, betting on the fight live, like just for an extra kick in the balls yeah he's betting live and he's gonna give the the judge to the house fight the 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 score to the house fighter overwhelmingly which many pundits disagreed with i will say i didn't watch the whole fight so i've only seen clips of it so i don't know i'm just telling you that the the there's a lot of controversy around the decision but this guy this is so unacceptable you should be ashamed of yourself terry o'connor you should step down and never judge another fight if you're that busy there's nothing going on. We're in a pandemic, and you're going to text her in a fight and totally crap on these two guys in the ring like you can't be bothered. 36 minutes, you got to pay attention, you buffoon. Sorry. Pick it up, oh. Teddy. Well, you sound like me. <laughs> it's, cra- it's, it's just unacceptable, it's off. man. If you get caught doing that, you have to say, hands up. I, I agree with you. You got me. I, 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 I effed up. I don't deserve this seat. Give it to someone well, you know who cares. you know where he messed up the most? I'll tell you where he messed up the most. He only wore the the mask at the bottom for the COVID. He should have had a whole. <laughs> he should have had the whole thing. You know, like like a whole mask over his face, the head, the eyes, everything. Just like just like if you're robbing a bank or something. Should have turned his back to the ring. Don't even watch. Well, really? Cut the shit. Should've, we know you're well, not. No, I mean, you're not paying attention. Full, at least if he had a full mask, like one of those monster masks, or, or you know, Halloween. Halloween's coming up. Maybe he could have he could have got away with it. Say, hey, look, I'm celebrating Halloween early. I'm coming in with a full mask. Then at least we wouldn't be able to recognize this son of a gun. Uh, at, at least he could have gotten away with that part of it. Where, it really you know, is a disgrace. Uh, where it's, the whole world disgrace. wouldn't know who the freak this idiot is. Um, imagine an NBA or NFL ref doing that, Teddy. You said that oh. before we started. Can you imagine yeah. a mainstream out sport referee texting in a, a even during a timeout? Never, never mind during the game. This guy is texting in the middle of a round. Just, imagine a, imagine an NBA ref uh, running up and down the court with a cell phone, peeking at the cell phone as he's running alongside LeBron James, <laughs> taking you know, a or taking a phone call. I, 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 I mean, really that. Uh, uh, nobody else it wouldn't happen it wouldn't even happen in another sport the guy we have to jump on it we have to say it i i listen um really it's it's absurd it's beyond absurd it's the reason why i call for a national commission um it's exhibit a well at this point it's exhibit z z as in zebra (laughs) <laughs> because I've had so many exhibits through the years of why we should have a national commission, why I get so intense, why I get so upset, why I get so crazy, uh, because they they hurt the sport, they destroy the sport, they chase fans, and they hurt the fighters because because he had the wrong decision, everyone says. Even the promoter, even the promoter, to his credit, Eddie Hearn that night said that I, I believe his fighter was involved, obviously, in the fight, and even he said that he gave it to the wrong guy, which was Eddie Hearn's guy, I believe, um, the promoter's guy. So the promoter's being really the way you would want him to be uh, and hope that everyone in boxing could somehow be that. He was being honest. He said, my guy didn't win it. I, uh, this idiot, uh, you know, he should be thrown out of the sport, and it, he obviously gave it to a guy that, again, Eddie Hearn, who, who was getting the benefit of getting the decision to his guy said it was wrong. So the know, guy should be forced, Teddy, that guy should be forced to tell us what was so important. 
Well, yeah, but that's why we I want to know what he commission. was texting. But we don't have a national commission to bring him to to bring him to or justice. Or in this case, so an speak. international commission because well, this one yeah. was in the UK. But, but well, this guy, exactly. man, I want to know what he was texting. It should be the way in in boxing, you know, whether it's across the pond with our beautiful fans over there, you know, abroad, or it's here, that domestically. That it should be a commission that takes charge of such things, that lays down laws about everything and enforces those laws instead of these weak, ridiculous commissions sometimes from state to state that, that are omnipotent. They don't do crap. So, and they have relationships. That's the problem with the promoter. They have relationships with the managers. They, it's absurd. There's no separation of church and state uh, in boxing. None. None. And, and therefore, you know, you got the people that are making money, that are friendly with the people supposedly in charge of enforcing the rules. How does that work? How does that work? It can't work. Can't work. 